Hey, what's going on? I'm Conda Proto, and today I'm going to be showing you how to zoom around in VTube Studio. Let's get started. <laughs> so this is very useful because a lot of people will have resize the actual capture for their VTube Studio on different scenes. That way, when they're chatting there in the center of the screen, when they're streaming there in the bottom corner of the stream, all that different stuff. But the problem that has is if you try and move your model around, it can cut you off. It doesn't give you access to a full screen. And if I'm sitting here streaming and I get a raid and I want to greet the Raiders in their face, can't really do that now, can you? But I'm going to show you how to simply hotkey different key points for your model so that you can move around wherever you want, whenever you want. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go over here into settings. Once we're in settings, we're simply going to head all the way over to the, there's a fancy word for that thing, but the movie, the movie cut. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The fourth icon on the top. And basically here, this lets us add triggers. You can see I have some to activate different things on my model. Boom, 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 boom. But then if we get down to something like this right here, where I have zoom, it allows you to do move model, record position, and then create the hotkey. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through on how to make your own version of that. And then kind of go over how it can be used and how I use it in between scenes and when dealing with different things on stream. So the first thing we want to do right here is we want to hit the plus button. Boom, new hotkey added, baby. It's just that easy. <laughs> We're going to click on the hotkey action right here. And you can see there's lots of different things you can do here. Change your idle animation, play animation, remove all expressions, move model, change background. Uh, if you haven't looked at this, I mean, it's you can make a hotkey to change your model, take a screenshot, live 2D items, all that. But what we're going to be looking at is the fifth one down right here. This is move model. So you're going to select that and boom, now it's done. Now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and choose a position for our model to be in. So let's say I want to make one for when I stream games that I need to be on the left hand side of the screen for. I'm going to move my model over here, just drag them and click record position. And now that position is recorded. Next, we do have to make a key combination. Whenever making key combinations, I like to use the right control key because you don't use that for very many things. Usually you're using the left control key. So for key one, I'll usually hit oh, the wrong button, <laughs> hit record and I'll just hit the right control button. Then after that, I'll hit record and I will add a letter, maybe L for left. And boom, the trigger is set up from there. You can go ahead and add it to something like a stream deck. I will go over that in a second. But if I was to go ahead and move myself to the middle and do control L, now I'm on the left hand side of the screen. It's really that easy. So the way I like to use this is I have my chatting screen set up and then whenever I switch scenes during the stinger, I will just hit the hotkey on my stream deck to head on over to the right hand side. And now I'm ready for stream when it hits the screen. I've seen a lot of people who have assets and stuff with their model resize the actual capture on each screen. And what that does, it cuts off parts of their model, parts of the items attached to their model, all those issues. So this will solve that. This will allow you to move around easily. Whenever I get a raid, I usually like to zoom in and greet the raiders. And then we'll go right back to streaming. Next, we're gonna go over setting up your hotkeys on your stream deck. If you have not set them up, this thing is a life changer from changing scenes on OBS to activating toggles on your model to now adding in the zoom mode to move around with just a press of a button. You're gonna scroll down until you see VTube Studio. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I know you're going to see move model. You're going to want to drag that one. That's not what we're doing here. Instead, grab the trigger hotkey, drag and drop that one. Select the model that you're currently using that we just set up the redeem on. Go under hotkey and scroll down until you see it. I forgot to name it, but it's that one because it's the most recent one I made. Go ahead and name it left stream for when I'm streaming on the left hand side. And then from there, if I minimize this and hit left stream, I'm on the left side of the stream. 
This is honestly an amazing tool and it makes streams a bit more interactive. You can definitely like zoom into people's faces when you're trying to talk to chat. You can zoom into greet raids. It allows you to switch your position between screens without having to readjust the size of your spout capture, which if you're not capturing with spout, you really should be. I might do a video on that one later, but it just makes it overall easier to interact with everything and move your model around by hotkeying it. Hopefully this helped you. If it did help you, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below. I will go ahead and answer anything I may have missed. And I appreciate y'all watching this. I hope it helped you and have a great day.